In today's video, we're making homemade loco moco. So let's get to cooking. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is get our meat seasoned. I'm gonna be using SPG and uh, our sizzling burger. This is gonna take this meat to the next level and it's gonna be super, super good. Super yummy. Super yummy. Super super yummy. yummy. This is our sizzling burger rub. This is phenomenal on burgers. I've even used it on steaks. It's phenomenal on steaks, on chicken. Get it all mixed. Oh man, I forgot to put the Worcestershire. Nathan, hit me a little bit of Worcestershire. My man. That's good. Thank you, brother. Now you don't want to <laughs> over mix this. I'm gonna make quarter pound patties. Put them right over here. This is a pound and a half. I don't know if I said that earlier. So it should make five good sized burgers. I'm not a big time patty foreman dude. So I know if you don't do it right, they come apart. I just remember when my mom made burgers like this and then served them on white bread, they just, they, they always crack right. What the, what's up with this shit? Like, come on, man. You gotta start all over now. I'll just be shocked if I can get them off the cooker without falling apart. These are one flippers. You flip many more than that. This is what, this is when you go to people's house and they, they just have a massive burger. This is the reason why. Show me. This will be a fat little dude right here. Let's go get these on the cooker. Burgers are done. Now it's time to make the gravy. And I gotta tell you, brown gravy is, well, uh, brown gravy is just brown gravy. So we'll make it together. We'll be best friends and make it together. <laughs> This is this is the stainless steel, the whole you know the whole stainless steel thing. Well, this is how you burn your so. No, not a fan of it. Onions, onions and mushrooms. I knew he was gonna use that oil. I knew he was. All right, so over here we got beef stock, cornstarch. We're gonna go ahead and mix this up and make our slurry. Now I've never made gravy this way, but this recipe, this is authentic. Authentic loco moco. At least that's what I'm being told by Matt, my in-house Hawaiian. Now that we got our onions and our mushrooms going, we'll just add in the slurry. Now we wait. Now this recipe calls for, believe it or not, two tablespoons of ketchup. I thought about that. I thought, I've never had that, but we're gonna have it today. Almost. I've never had ketchup in brown gravy, but we're gonna do today. Now we're gonna cook this till it starts to thicken up, and then we're gonna move it to the side. We already have our rice going. Then we'll cook our egg and start assembling this baby. She loves me. Yeah, she loves me. All right, so our sauce is starting to thicken up just a little bit. Now at this point, I'm lowering the heat on it, just making sure to keep everything off the bottom. And I'm gonna fold in two more tablespoons of butter. Just fold that in. It's gonna give it a nice, glossy appearance. Make you look like you actually know what the hell you're doing. Put the lid on this rig. Just move it right over here to the side. 
because now we get to do the fun stuff. We get to make the egg. This is my new egg pan, which is stainless steel. Now, everybody knows stainless steel is non-stick, but it has to be at nuclear temp. Uh, so this is gonna be the first egg I attempt in here with you to see if it actually works for me. I personally at home, I eat eggs almost every single day. I have a non-stick pan. I do the whole fling and the flipping thing, but we're gonna see what this dude does. 300, it's hot, man. All right, here we go, well, let's, let's try it, here we go. First ever, a little bit of oil. Yeah, it's hot. I'm gonna turn this down. I'm trying to do it over easy. I wanna make this look pretty. Put a little water in there, that's my trick. While that's cooking, let's go ahead and get our rice out. She's my lover. Just look all pretty. Use that dude right there. Get it nestle him on in there. Oh, that smells good. You can smell that ketchup. You can smell it in there. Just a little bit too. That egg has got my attention. Dude, I nailed that sucker. Look at that. Boom. Boom! Get it cleaned up here, make it look presentable for the judges. Hit it with a little bit of chive. So we're just gonna touch it with just a dash. Just a dash of the SPG. And voila, homemade loco moco. All right, so I ain't gonna lie to you, man. This is not how I would have made it. Matt. A resident Hawaiian, Matt was born and raised in Hawaii. He now lives here in the States and works at Cosmos Q. Most of y'all know that, notably right here, cooking with Matt. Matt actually brought this recipe to us and it kind of piqued his interest. I was like, hell yeah, let's make it. Uh, the ketchup thing kind of threw me off a little bit, but I'm like, you know me, let's try it. Let's see how it goes. So I'm just gonna dig in. Now I've had Loco Moco over there. As a matter of fact, I was on the North Shore. Uh, Farm to Barn, I believe is the restaurant. Coolest place I've ever been to. But their Loco Moco is freaking legit. And if you know the guys across the street, they do an ATV tour, go over there. Tell them Cosmo said hi. So let's get to eat. That's pretty good. Man. That ketchup, it, it's different. It's good, it's real good. If you want this recipe, go down below. It'll be somewhere in the description, I'm sure. If not, it'll be on cosmosq.com. Go over there, print it off, make it for yourself, and I'll catch you in the next video. So without any further ado, let's get to cooking. Oh, God said it again. Damn it, Wes. <laughs> this is going, oh shit. Damn bold in there. 